Hello, this is Kadulitics and welcome to today's session. In today's brief video, we are taking a look at a kind of logistic regression analysis that ordinary logistic regression. Now, we established that if you are to run a regression analysis and you know that your outcome variable of interest is categorical in nature, then instead of going for a linear regression, you would go for a logistic regression analysis. Now, should your categorical outcome variable be dichotomous in nature or binary, then you will have to use a binary logistic regression. Now, what happens if your categorical outcome variable has more than two categories and at the same time it is ordinal in nature that is where this video will be very useful to you to watch this video right to the very end we are going to see how we can use this data platform to run ordinal logistic regression analysis at the same time you get to know the assumption that backs this statistical analysis and how you can be able to use the Stata platform to check for the assumption. Now, without wasting much time, we want to run a logistic regression analysis. So first of all, our outcome variable we are looking at, let's see how it is, whether it qualifies for the uh, ordinary logistic regression or not. So we are looking at total delirable. So we are going to see. So total bilirubin has levels low, normal, and high. Now this is categorical in nature because it is divided into categories. And it's ordinary in nature because low is lower than normal and normal is also lower than high. So there is a kind of order in the categories. And so we qualify to use this outcome variable as uh, outcome variable for an ordinary logistic regression analysis. So now, before you run ordinary logistic regression, there is a special assumption that must be obeyed and not violated, and that assumption is the proportional odds assumption. Now, what is the proportional odds assumption? Proportional odds assumption simply has to do with the coefficient. And it states that the coefficient that describes the relationship between the lowest versus all higher categories of the response variable are the same as that which describes the relationship between the next lowest category and all higher categories, etc, etc. So basically the coefficients are the same that describes the lowest this is the combine of the upper ones and the next, the next, and the next. And because relationship between all pairs of groups is the same, there is only one set of coefficients. This basically describes the proportional odds assumption. Now, how do we check the proportional odds assumption using the Stata platform? To do that, you simply run the code O model. O model and then logit, then you, our outcome variable comes first, then you will then add our predictor variables we are interested in. So we are interested in age, sex, marital status, that is all. And then we we'll click on it. So basically, it has run the model. So it says, this is the assumption check. So you see that approximate likely ratio test for proportionality of odds across response categories. And then the chi two blah, blah, like this. This is what we are interested in. And so since this uh, P value is not statistically significant, then it means that we have not violated, we have not violated the proportional odds assumption. And so we say that we can go ahead and run our ordinary logistic regression analysis without issue. So now to run the ordinary logistic regression model, first of all, if you realize that you don't have whole model logic installed, you can just search for it 
can just type search O logit or model logit and then install it. Then you can be able to run this if you're having challenges with it. Now, for us to run the the ordinal logistic model or regression, we will just type O logit. That is ordinal logistic. O means ordinal logistic. Then our uh, outcome variable of interest, which is total bilirubin. Total bilirubin. Then our predictor variables follow. So we have age, which is continuous or quantitative variable, which is a covariate. And so we will not add any factor prefix. And then we have next marital status. Marital status is also categorical a factor. So we add that. And then we want it to give us odds ratio. So it should present us with the odds ratio. And at the same time, it should help us identify the base level or the reference category. So this simple line of code, we are able to run ordinal logistic regression to see how the predictors age, sex, marital status have effect on the outcome variable total bilirubin. Now let's run this and then allow a few seconds or minutes for the model to run. Now, the model is not statistically significant by this, but generally, this is helping you to know how to run this model. Now, we also realize that none of the p-value here is statistically significant. And so for drawing scientific conclusions, we can't make any inferences with this, but for the purpose of this video, we are going to see how we can be able to interpret values like this when we have them. Now, for age, since it is a continuous variable, we'll see that the meaning of this is that for every unit increase in age, the proportional odds of the lowest category of total below them is what? A high. High. So the pro for every unit increase in age, the proportional odds of having high total bilirubin versus the combined categories of normal and low is 0.9939117. You can replay this so you can get the meaning. For sex, for females compared to males, the proportional odds of having high total bilirubin level versus the combined categories of normal and low is this value. And so I, 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 I presume that we can do the same for the other categories. So generally, this is how to be able to run an ordinary logistic regression analysis in Stata, how to check the assumption, and how to make interpretation. To be able to do that, you have to first ascertain whether your outcome variable has three or more categories. And at the same time, it's ordinary in nature. And then you check the assumption by using O model logits. And then you type the outcome variable and the predictor variables without any association of factor or indicating that these are factors or not. Then you run the model, which is the O logit. And then you add the, you indicate that these are factors and it should be regarded as such using the best category as the reference. And then add odds ratio and the base level. If you find this content useful, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell so you are always notified whenever a new video is released. Until we meet again on our next one, this is Schedulitics and it's a bye.